motion graphics tutorial. My name is Jesse and this uh, in this section I'm gonna go over importing uh, motion backgrounds from uh, marketingmotiongraphics.com and kind of looping them together um, even the ones that don't actually even loop the best um, how you can in Camtasia or other software that allows fade on fade off especially multiple tracks that you can kind of layer them to get a seamless effect for however long you need for your video as as the background as you know if you have a green screen video where you're talking in the front foreground or you just have your text and your graphics or animations over top and you want this as a seamless background okay so let's get started what I'm gonna do first is import from the motion backgrounds collections um, find one that I want I'm actually gonna import a couple just to show you a few examples and how you can change colors as well. Okay, so let's pick this one first. Now, I already have my canvas set to uh, 1280 by 720. If you go under Edit, uh, Adjust Canvas. It has some settings here, or you can physically type in what you want. So if you want a smaller canvas, that's fine. You know, just bring in the clips again and resize them as you need. And so right off the bat, it's going to put it in the bottom here, and it's 20 seconds long. Say you want it, you know, you have a three-minute video, <clears throat> and you need this as the background. So it plays, and it keeps going, you know, you have your text, content, your message over top, or you're standing here talking. See how it kind of fades off, and it starts off at the start. So what you can do, in Camtasia, it allows you to, I'm just going to copy and paste the track, or you can drag it back into the timeline. What you want to do is kind of have them fade into each other. So I'm going to drag a transition, which is a fade transition, and let's kind of extend it a little bit longer. So right when the bottom clip is animating off, the top one is um, fading on. Maybe we'll move it in a bit more. What I'm going to do, because the start of this clip doesn't have any particles on it, they start, you know, about here. We're going to drag the start of the clip just back a bit. Move it up. And there you go. So you don't really notice much of a transition between. You know, it's a slight little fade difference there. We can shorten this and lengthen it. Again, you can play around with it until you're satisfied. Yeah, and I, I think that looks good. We'll keep going with it. And then again, just copy this one now. And I put on a new track above it, you know, right down near the end. And you can just keep going with that. Now, what you can do as well is, if you do this, let's say remove, oops, transition or the fade actually now if we go back to the original so this is the end where it kind of fades to the same color and this starts at the exact same color so in between those you you don't really notice any difference it kind of starts on again so if you're not capable of layering tracks on top of each other uh, most softwares will allow a transition in between the two clips. So then what you want to do is just you know open it up and have the transition maybe fade off from this point to say you know this point or something. So you always have particles on the screen. Or you could leave it as this. It's not that bad. So I'm just gonna undo. Now say you have a longer video, you know you want a nice long background like this. And so we're already at, um, how long are we here? We're almost at a minute. Say once we hit a minute, what you can do, and you can cut it to a certain size you want. And so you know that, say the particles are like, uh, they're like that. So right here, we're going to cut that off. 
And then if you want to create a loop, you want to take a section of this clip here, holding shift, you can select it. We'll do that. Now I'm going to copy. So I'm going to pinch this off there. We're going to go back to the start. I'm just going to paste it, see where it ends up. Okay, it's back here. We're going to shorten this. Let's just put it right down here. Now, it's not going to work perfectly having it here because you're going to see it kind of disappear and then appear again. So you want to take this little snip, which is, or snippet, which is the, the start is the end of the clip. And we're just going to bring this up. We're going to put a fade on it, extend it a little. And so it kind of fades into this clip. You know, and then you can make minor adjustments if you want. Maybe we'll bring this in. Pull these guys up a bit. The further they blend into each other, the better it'll look. And then you'll have this clip that just kind of keeps playing. You know, and, and you'll still, you'll see slight variations when they do change. And you'll notice it's a loop, but as long as you're having content over top, people won't pay attention. And you, you won't even really kind of catch that with your eye. Some might, but... So now when it ends, as soon as that ends, it goes back to the start. It looks the same. Pretty much. Well, if I can get it right at the end here. And if it doesn't, then you might need to make a couple adjustments about where you actually took the clip from. See, that's close. I think I moved this a little bit. So maybe it was about there. If I snap that. Yeah, I think I moved it. I'm just going to open this up a bit more. I'm just kind of going with these lines here. So it's 616. I think that's close enough. Now what you can do is we're going to export this out. Oops. Just as a um, high quality video. Leave the settings the same. As long as it's 1280, 29 frames per second. Okay. Now I'm going to save this in my folder that I'm working with my video or same folder that I'm working with. It's called a loop. Mm. Okay, now that's done. What I'm going to want to do, I can delete all of these, or you can save it if you want. I'm going to import what I just exported. Okay. And there we have one long clip that's over just over a minute long. So it just makes it easier to work with. You know, rather than bringing in multiple clips, if you know you're going to make a longer video and that's what you want as your background. And then again, we can bring this in and do the same thing. Oops, I'm going to delete some of these tracks. And we can have it fade into each other all over again. Or, sorry, because we, because I took the snippet from the back and put it on the front like I showed you, we can just put them back to back you shouldn't notice much of a change at all. There's a little bit of a jump there. So that again comes down to how we make the loop. The more accurate you are with taking from the back and putting on the front and you know mashing them together, you'll have a seamless loop.
that little jump there, you won't notice. It's a small little jump. And you could be happy with it as long as you have content over top. Maybe, you know, it's not that noticeable. Or again, you can just bring it up and have a slight fade into it. There you go. But the, the what you want to do is keep it as one single track. So that's just one trick. Now, some of the other backgrounds here, there'll be specific colors. This one, I'm going to put back to back and we'll see how they. See, again, they kind of fade off and fade into each other. So you can bring it up and do a fade in if you want, or you can leave it as is. They're very subtle. And it has the lens flare again. So if you want to change the color, you treat it just as i uh, I'm just going to drag the colorize filter down onto the object. Now you'll see it changed, but if I if I click on the little cog wheel here to bring up the settings, here's where you can adjust the colorize. Or you can remove it by clicking the X. And then again, you just want to adjust the amount, is consider it the saturation. And then you can have your content on top and keep, you know, and again, make this into a loop if you want. Now that I copy and paste, it'll keep the same colorization effect on there. So I don't have to keep, if I keep, oops, bringing in the media clips from where I've imported them, it's going to be red again and you have to keep applying the colorize. So the best way to duplicate clips is to copy and paste. So another example for a good background. If you want to combine to make different combinations, What we'll do is put a um, fade in on this. Maybe adjust the color. So it's blue. And then you don't really notice the transition. Well, you do, obviously, but you know, it kind of creates a unique clip. And then maybe we'll have this one. Have him fade back in. Put another transition. Let's drag it even farther. And you have the new one kind of coming over top. And then have this one again, you know, combine other ones as long as you're changing the colors so they don't they're not dramatically different from each other. You could even put this right over top, drag the fade in all the way to the end. Well not all the way to the end, but and it kind of creates an overlay effect of the two clips. And that one will finally come on. Drag it all the way to the end. It only fades on, I guess, about halfway through. So let's try that with a different one. This one might work well. Now this is our longer loop, right? So if we put this one over top, change the color to blue. The transition, drag the fade, and you'll see them kind of combine with each other. Now let's take this one out and put it on this background. Actually, delete some tracks, just right clicking on them.
you can see how they kind of combine with each other. Now that one fades off instantly. <clears throat> so when this one ends, because we made this one so much longer, you want the transition to be about the same length as that, and we'll have this one fade off. Oops. The same point that this one goes on full. And then again, maybe we can bring this one on top, and or duplicate this one. Let's just copy and paste it. We're going to put it over top, but we're going to reverse the footage. So an easy way to do that. Go to Actions. Actually, no, we won't go to Actions. You just need to select the footage, the clip, and over in the Rotation section, you'll see the Y axis, the Z axis, and the X axis. So it's kind of in a 3D space. So we're going to leave these back to where they were. If you change the Y, you reverse the clip. So a complete 180, 180 degrees, flips it um, perfectly. And so now we have the two clips on top of each other. To kind of get a unique effect. Now we have them both kind of shooting from each direction. And then again, just adjust the transitions or the, uh, sorry, the fades to get different looks. And that's how you can create unique uh, backgrounds out of, you know, multiple transitions. And you can bring in, you know, lens effects as well and kind of have them opacity down a bit or the fades. And you can get really unique effects for your videos. So that's the end of this. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, learned something. Um, any questions or any um, any topics you, you want me to cover, I guess, in a video, um, feel free to shoot me an email at support at marketingmotiongraphics.info, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks and enjoy.